This is the Blue Eddy AC500 and B300S. Combined, they are part of one of the largest solar generator systems that Blue Eddy has ever made. These are two components of a new expandable lineup designed specifically to survive a power outage or serve as an entryway into a truly off-grid lifestyle. With additional batteries, you can expand this system up to over 18,000 watt hours of power. That's a lot of power. As always, check the links in the description for the current price and latest details. Before we go any further, let me get this thing unboxed. Now that I've got this thing unboxed, I want to address this giant elephant. The AC500 box weighs in at 82 pounds, and the B300S tips the scales at 102 pounds. Adding those together, the combined weight is 184 pounds. So keep that in mind when you purchase this thing, you have to be able to move it from your porch to wherever you're gonna use it. This is a heavy system, but it backs that weight up with some heavy features. This is not a toy, but rather a legitimate power supply. The first thing in the AC500 box is this 15 amp AC charging cable. This cable will plug into your standard wall outlet. Next, we have our DC charging cable with MC4 adapters. This thing will allow you to plug solar panels into your AC500 so that you can charge the B300S batteries. This is a DC charging cable that will plug into your standard car outlet. Also included is a user manual, which is actually readable. I normally toss these things aside, but this one actually has some useful information in it. Usually these booklets are so bad that they're just plain comical, but this one is professionally written. Finally, we have the warranty card. In case you're wondering, flight damage is not covered by the warranty, but for the boxes, you have a two year manufacturer defect warranty and the cables are covered for one year from the date of purchase. Double check to make sure you're subscribed and smash that like button. The B300S comes with its own DC charging cable for matching with solar panels and one P150 battery expansion cable. This thing is robust and it matches the AC500 to the B300S battery pack. The B300S also comes with a similarly professional user manual and the same exact warranty card. If you plan to buy the B300S as a standalone battery, then you can pick up an AC wall charger directly from Blue Eddy. They also have several options for different use scenarios. Enough about cables, this is why you're here. Let me introduce Blue Eddy's newest off-grid power system. The brains of this system are controlled in two ways. First is the super responsive LCD screen. It shows PV input from solar panels, percentage battery remaining, AC input, DC output, and AC output. In addition, it has controls to turn on the AC panel as well as the DC panel. So far, this is the only gripe that I have found with the AC500 system. There are no dedicated buttons for the AC panel or the DC panel. I prefer a dedicated input to turn on each of these devices, but the LCD screen has not let me down. For that reason, this is really just an issue with preference and not really a manufacturing issue. There are tons of options and features accessible through this interface and I'll leave those for a future video. The Blue Eddy AC500's premier feature is its 5,000 watt AC inverter. Have you ever wanted to do your laundry during a power outage? Well, this thing can handle it. This AC inverter runs at 5,000 watts continuous and up to 10,000 watts for surges. This inverter has a 50 amp outlet, a 30 amp outlet, a different 30 amp outlet, and three 20 amp outlets. The only way I can get anywhere close to maxing out the AC500 is by hooking up my air compressor and a heat gun simultaneously. I would never do that in real life, and so I don't expect to do that during a power outage. We know it was heavy coming out of the box, but unpacked, it still weighs in at 66 pounds. Over on the DC side, we have a 12 volt, 30 amp DC outlet. Usually these are 10 amp outlets rated at up to 120 watts, but this one is rated at a massive 360 watts. Additionally, we have a 24 volt 10 amp outlet, which I've never seen on any of my other devices. This outlet is perfect for running one of those car mini fridges because those car mini fridges are designed to run between 12 and 24 volts, and you won't have to reduce the battery's internal voltage by as much to run it using this outlet making it much more efficient. Over on the USB side, we have two USB-C outlets rated at 100 watts each, and we have four USB-A outlets. Two of these USB-A outlets are rated at 18 watts, and the other two are rated at 15 watts. I almost forgot, why charge one phone when you can charge two? 
we have two 15 watt wireless charging outlets on the top of the device. Adding all of those up gives us a total of 16 outlets on the AC500. On this side, we have two inputs, one for wall charging and one for your DC charging with your car or solar panels. Additionally, there's a diagnostic port, but I don't think I'll ever be able to use that because I don't have any diagnostic equipment and the thing hasn't gone bad yet. Over on this side, we have two inputs for the B300S batteries. These connect to the P150D cables and they can transport a massive 150 amps per cable. In testing, I can put in about 1700 watts using the wall outlet and I don't have the solar panels to confirm this, but with the DC input, you can pull a massive 3000 watts with this system. Being able to pull in 3000 watts of power means that we can charge this battery in a little over an hour using solar panels. With this system, you can daisy chain up to six of these B300S batteries coming in at 18,432 watt hours. Or you can use four of the older B300 batteries or a combination of up to four using the B300 and some new B300S batteries. Speaking of the Blue Eddy B300S, this thing weighs 80 pounds coming out of the box and you can use it as a standalone power system with three outlets. It has a 12 volt, 10 amp DC outlet, one 100 watt USB-C outlet and one 18 watt USB-A outlet. In addition, it has an on off switch for these outlets. So right now these outlets are off and all of the power is going into the AC500. But if I wanted to, I could disconnect the cable over here and just run these devices without any other cables. On the input side, we have an XT90 input for solar panels. I normally complain about this kind of input, but you can charge the B300S with up to 500 watts. So I think the use of this cable is justified. Also on this side is an eight millimeter barrel plug input, and this would be used with that optional power brick if you wanted to use this as a standalone power supply. The most useful feature of the B300S is its self-heating battery. In extreme cold temperatures, the battery will warm itself up. A feature like this is usually only found in things like electric vehicles and other unique devices. In fact, over the last few years, I lived up in the Northeast and cold weather charging was a huge challenge. Charging these power stations in extreme cold weather will quickly damage the batteries. So for that reason, this is my favorite feature of the new system. The battery inside of the B300S is lithium iron phosphate and rated at up to 3,500 cycles with about 80% of the original capacity remaining. The B300S is a 3,072 watt hour battery and I performed two complete battery rundown tests. In the first test, I pulled around 1500 watts and was able to draw 2,462 watt hours for an efficiency of 80%. In the second test, I pulled 200 watts, drawing a total of 2,000 399 watt hours, resulting in a slightly lower efficiency of 78%. I believe the difference in efficiency was due to the inverter consuming more power over the longer duration of the test. Bluetti does something very interesting with product development. Over the last several years, they have designed and manufactured their flagship power systems with crowdfunding as the primary source of financing these devices. I'm usually very skeptical of crowdfunding, but Blue Eddy has had a lot of success that actually gives them the ability to provide premium features at a much lower cost. Early adopters and supporters get the best deals, and as those packages sell out, the prices increase slightly. In the end, the Indiegogo deals are much better than the final retail price that was listed on their website. Bluetti's Indiegogo campaign has raised over seven and a half million dollars for the system with over 3,200 backers. At the time of this filming, over 1,000 orders have shipped with a planned completion of shipping over the next month or so. Putting this system into use is as simple as plugging in this P150 battery expansion cable. Simply uncover, unplug, plug it in, and then lock it. Follow the same step for the bottom one. Normally I like to cut and jump through the video so that I'm not wasting your time, but I wanna show you something with this power button. I'm gonna hold this power button. The green light on the battery is gonna turn on and it's gonna take a couple seconds for the LCD to start powering up. Now that I've got it powered up, let's do some testing. So I wanna test the AC inverter. So what I've gotta do is just go over here. First of all, I wanna turn it on. The AC inverter is pretty powerful, so it did make a little click as I turned it on. So moment of truth, will this power my air compressor? So it powered my air compressor without problems. What I'm gonna do now is hook up the heat gun and see if I can run the heat gun and turn on the air compressor at the same time. Oh. 
I have my heat gun pulling about 1500 watts and no problem. So far the AC500 has been able to run everything I've thrown at it. I don't own any devices that are more powerful than that air compressor. So putting that heat gun and that air compressor is the biggest load that I can put on the AC500 at one time. So let me know in the comments, what kind of devices do you have that take five or even 10,000 watts of power? To me, that's a lot of power. So in this test, I just wanted to use the B300S as a standalone power supply. This is perfect for my mini fridge that I keep in my no build minivan camper. And what I'm gonna do is just turn it on. In power supply mode, the battery turns right on, no problem. There's also a switch right here to turn on these outlets. When I push this switch right here, I did hear a little click, letting me know that this panel turned on. The mini fridge is running. If this is a regulated outlet, I'll have a good solid 12 to 13.5 volts coming out of the mini fridge. One thing I want to point out is putting this battery inside of my minivan was a little bit of a pain. It's not that it's not manageable, but this thing does weigh about 80 pounds as you see it sitting right here. So keep that in mind, wherever you put this, you're gonna to wanna to have it in a place that you can easily access it and move it as necessary. With the mini fridge plugged in, it is running at 13.7 volts. That means that the regulated outlet is putting out the 13.7 volts. What I'm gonna do now is cycle the compressor and see if I get a voltage drop, and if so, how much is my voltage drop with the compressor running? <laughs> With the compressor running, the voltage is reading about 12.9 to 13 volts, which is perfect for my mini fridge. So far, all of my testing has worked perfectly for the AC500 and B300S combo. So for me, that's a win. I think this one's a keeper and I'm gonna to continue to test it over the winter. I really wanna see how that self-heating battery performs throughout the winter. The B300S has a 58.8 volt internal battery. So by pulling about 13 volts during that test, that means the regulated outlet is working as designed. Now that we've gone over all of the features of the AC500 and B300S, watch this video about Blue Eddie's EB3A and I'll see you on my next adventure.